I will never leave you. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Inside Interview um, with Sofia Skaya, who is a star and a director of the film that we just watched here in a private screening at Warner Brothers lot of White Swan, and you really are. <laughs> yes, I am, sir. <laughs> so you have been dancing since you were four. That's right. Why did you take a movie like this that obviously has the beauty of being a ballerina, mm -hmm. but also the martial arts that is not seen by someone of your beauty most often? Um, I did uh, another action movie before this one. Yes. And I really enjoyed all these moves and you know all these faces being hit. And, um, I really enjoy to work with any moves. So, um, and you do your own stunts in these films. You don't have stunt doubles. No, no, it's principle. <laughs> do you find that difficult when you're used to dancing and all of a sudden you're you're kicking somebody's into another planet? Well, it's as if uh, Grigorovich or some, you know, big ballet yes. master would uh, show you moves of, you know, in, in between of ballet. To hit, you would do that, right? Yes. So when they show you moves, you automatically repeat what they do. So it's, it doesn't feel like a fight, it feels like a dance to me. There was one scene in the film where you're jumping in midair and you do a split kick and take out two very big men. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't any editing or special effects, that was all you? Well, the jump was mine. Yes. But of course I didn't hit anybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like it though. It's supposed to. Yes, I did that by myself, mm -hmm. but imagine if since since I was four I've been trained for like eight hours a day um, to just focus on dancing and moves and you know all that. So it's like it's my first professional and actually So when you started at four and you went away to dance school, mm -hmm. was this your idea or mom and dad said, you know, you're gonna be a ballerina? Who made this decision? I love dancing and my grandmother and my grandfather from my father's side are very artistic people. Yes. Uh, my grandmother played um, arc. Yes. How do you call arc? Uh, like a harp? I harp. mean, yes, harp. okay. And she moved from St. Petersburg to Ufa where I studied. Yes. And she signed a contract for 10 years to work in their theater because they had nobody uh, playing uh, harp. The harp. Yes. And, uh, while she was there, she made a lot of friends, and yes. some of them were from ballet world. And when I came to visit her, they saw me and they said that this girl is uh, uh, looking just like a ballerina. She has to do that. And, <laughs> and I stayed there, and I loved that for a while. <laughs> um, and they got me into a school. Was it challenging so, growing up where you left normal school and you went to study ballet and you were with just women all the time, was it? It's a different world. It wasn't just women, because there is like seven different types of dancing we were studying. It's, yes. it's not just ballet, it's partnering and toes okay. and, uh, you know, country dance. Uh, <laughs> a square all, dance doing ballet? All kinds of dancing. Okay. And, uh, and the school was in there as well, so mm -hmm. we had to leave there, eat there, dance there and study there. So it's like, it's a different world. And, um, yeah, you miss parents a lot. Uh, you miss that feel of that somebody's protecting you. You know, like you're, on, right. you're just all of a sudden on your own. I have older brother and I have a very confident and smart parents uh, who wouldn't let me, you know, be the last kid in the class, for right. example. And here I am on my own. Um, it was very interesting and tough because you have to compete with the meanest people in the world. And who are kids. very highly competitive. Kids, they're the meanest. So, uh, as a director okay. for this this film, what was it like to work with Christian Slater? I wasn't directing him, mm -hmm. but I was acting with him. Okay. And as an actress working with Christian Slater, I should say, just a very professional actor, you know. He came, he knew his line, he didn't whine right. <laughs> about anything. So what's next? What is the next type of role you're looking for? Because this is obviously going to do very well, and you left it open at the end, there could be a sequel. Hopefully the next thing would be a sequel. <laughs> okay. And this is based on real life in Russia from maybe 20 years ago. It is. Based on a real book. It is based on the real uh, book and the real story mm -hmm. or maybe stories. Okay. We wish you huge success and hopefully you'll see many awards and red carpets in your future and we'll, we'll be there to talk to you again. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Sophia Skaya. I'm Thank Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. And we'll have more from the after party in just a moment.
Hello, I'm Sofia Sky and you're watching Actors Reporter. Please enjoy. Something happened. They took your husband. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. How very original. I'm just set up. I didn't do anything. Welcome to our little world. There is no man who protects you in here. I have terrible news. Nina has been kidnapped. Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. at the after party for White Swan, a fabulous movie. And Nas Gashia is the producer of the film and helped put this all together. Main obstacle for any producer. Yes. You see beautiful locations. Yes. Amazing view. But you cannot spend money for this because you're tight. You have to inflate this budget. You know, how right, to right, do right. it? That is why uh, my idea was to find, yeah, as you see, a, there lo was a lot of locations. Beautiful, beautiful location locations. scenery it's in Moscow. Graf Yusupov's palace. It's Euro Graf. Right. It's an amazing place, expensive place in St. Petersburg. Right. It was, you, they use it during special events when it was Tsar Nikolai II. Right. So, uh, of course, maybe for Russians it's easier to negotiate to find these places. It's yes. like, guys, we're doing a movie. United America will watch this movie. Let's right. show the best. Not St. Petersburg outside streets. Yeah? Right. But it's nice too. But we have something better. Right. And then it was negotiation we found and we tried to trade with price. price. Of course, it's main idea. But we found a lot of location. So this movie brings beautiful vision, culture, art, many people who Definitely involved in art this, with and the they dancing. want to visit the United States, many American actors come here, Christian said it's me, yes, it's amazing. St. Petersburg is in Petro, Petro Dvores, right. now he speaks Russian. It's amazing what um, can happen at after parties, and I, I see that uh, Sophia is standing right behind you. Should we grab her over here for a second? Hang, hang on with me. All right. Sophia? Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come you know Eric Carson, right? He's done John Claude Van Damme. He's done oh, Chuck Norris. Oh, yes, Norris. I Only do know him. Only about 40 major action films. The <laughs> finest thing you can say about any movie in this town or in this business is, I've never seen that movie before, and that's what we have. I've never seen that movie before. I've never seen that plot line. It's interesting. The characters were rich, and you did special things in the movie that were, are going to make it stand apart in the industry. I tell you, you're, you did a great job. But when you say, I've never seen that movie before, that's the thing that everybody in this business is looking for. That's money. That's bank in this town. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. How does that feel? I mean, to hear Big. this from such a legend. So we thank you for that. We thank you for that. It's good. Yes, it's feel, it feels really big and important for me that she just said, because uh, I put a lot of a lot of feelings and uh, things wow. to it. So you thank earned you. it. You earned it. You don't have to thank anybody. You went out there and you did it. And it's my favorite thing to do. So thank you. So, a lot of people there here. are, and you know, there are other people that you could probably pull into your films. Well, there's one actor that here yes. that is a, um, uh, a was formerly a wrestler. So someone else who knows how to kick butt. Yes, so and speak. again, it's action. It's, a, yes. it's action. Let me bring her in. Come on in. Come yeah, on. Yes. No, hello. Hi. Hello. And your hello. name is? My name is Catalina Lee Waters. Catalina Lee Waters. Yes. You're not an island onto yourself, are you? Catalina Island. Catalina Catarina with an R. Oh, Catarina. Well, yes. that could still be your own Catalina. island. Come it to the island of. Yes. 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 When you're coaching actors and actresses, like this wonderful woman, how would you coach someone to get in the mindset of a thousand years ago? Dress, look, feel, mannerism? The, 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 the ma certain mannerisms are different. However, the human condition is the human condition. And that hasn't changed a lot mm -hmm. for thousands of years. The, the emotions and all of that, right? 
the one thing that you have to impress on people when you talk to them, Andy Griffith said this line once, and it was true. He said, people tend to over-indicate, and that's where unbelievable acting comes from. They right. over-indicate. Tell the actors, all you have to do is think it. Just think it. Ah. And the camera will see it, right? You know, like Gary Cooper, very small in testing the works. If you think it, they will see it. Because you can't fool the camera. So you can right. fool an audience, they blink every once in a while. <laughs> but Special effects. That's right, but the camera never blinks. Right. So if you think it and you make it happen, it's real for them and it's real for you. How does that feel? It's, well, the beauty of, you know, the world of film and theater, etc., is that you get to delve into different worlds, maybe worlds that you before, you know, you previously had no real knowledge of, and then you don't just get to research it and, you know, see what, you know, have a look at the look and the feel and the speech, but you actually get to live it and embody it, and that's the magic of acting, that you actually get to be another person in another life and another time for, for that period. you have a new film with Christian Slater coming on the radar. Absolutely, and it is a fun one, and we are so thankful that uh, our friends at Alberto Entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, who we've worked with in the past, uh, chose to work with us. Nice. Uh, we enjoyed some very solid sales at the market here. It's a movie with a different spin to action. Right. A prima ballerina uh, who can really kick it up. And Sofia Skaya, who stars in this movie, this is, uh, she's done a number of things, in, including uh, uh, some television, episodic television. But this picture really is a good one for her. Good it acting. It looks like a suspense and, thriller. Yeah, but on the surface. That's what it looks okay. like. But when you dig in, uh, take a look at the trailer, uh, catch it on Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, White Swan is the name of the feature with Cole Hauser, uh, Angus McFadden, uh, of course, Sophia Skaya, and Christian Slater. And you've got a movie that really rocks along. Shot on location in Russia, uh, Las Vegas, scenes shot there, right. high desert in here in California. High production value, one of the few films around that we shot on 35 and now is, you know, Available in DCP and right. HD Cam SR and everything else, but it really is a fun picture, okay. and uh, it truly has a European flair to it. And I think that's that's what the buyers were liking. It was something different, a bit of art, uh, a bunch of action, and uh, a dependable, solid and entertainment. I will yeah. never leave you. I promise. Help.